All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and get started with the bronze medal match here in our men's gi advanced absolute. On the top, we have Nate Fenton, the co-owner of Breaking Point Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and on bottom, we have brown belt Zack Snyder out of Iowa City Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. We're going to get a reset here back in the middle, both men getting close to the edge, and both agreed that it would be best to move into the middle of the mat. Jockeying a little bit for position and grips here. Zack Snyder going deep with that right hand grip inside the collar and underhooking the uh, right ankle of Nate Fenton with his left hand and connecting to his shin, kind of lock himself into that position there. Nate's got that right hand grip with his elbow framing inside of the leg, uh, looking to establish a good strong base here with his left hand trying to push that pant leg grip between his legs so that he can step over directly into the mount position. Uh, excuse me, it wouldn't be directly into the mount position, it would be over into the half guard position because his leg is still stuck behind the hamstring of Zack Snyder here. Nate looking to stack up Zack on his shoulders there and throw the legs by. He's not able to get Zack uh, stuck in that position there and Zack's able to get his hips back underneath of him. Nate turning those knuckles down and really going strong with those grips there on the pant legs, looking to pass here. Zack Snyder looking to sit up in the half guard. He's able to lock in a knee shield. Now back to the butterfly guard here with a, looks like a lapel grip threaded through the armpit. Anywhere? Uh, so we've got some in that cooler. It's probably pretty watered down. Oh, sorry. All right, I'm back. Just had to take care of a situation there, get some ice to somebody in need. Zack Snyder here looking to thread that reverse, or sorry, that outside De La Hiva hook to the far hip there. He does have his foot hooked on the far hip, and he's got that right foot on the bicep there. I thought he was going to go triangle, but uh, Nate was able to posture out there and keep himself with both hands inside and not able to, to allow that triangle position to happen. We are just about 15 seconds to go here in the uh, non-scoring, uh, point-scoring position, or sorry, portion of our match with points going live in just here about three seconds. You'll see the referee signal that points are now live. So I think we're going to see both gentlemen turn it up here as they try to score points to get themselves uh, the win here in our bronze medal match of our advanced Gi Absolute. Nate Fenton of Breaking Point Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu on bottom and Zach Snyder of Iowa City Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu on top here. Nate looking for that underhand grip on the uh, right arm of Zack Snyder here, trying to pull that out and get himself a Kimura grip. He's got that right uh, hamstring posted against the neck of Zack Snyder with the left foot on the hip. He's able to get the angle that he needs, but he needs to, now he's going with that uh, great white shark grip, as some people call it, or like a rear naked choke grip on the arm. But Zack Snyder's able to get his weight over. He steps over the head, uh, temporarily keeping himself safe here in this position. But Nate is a crafty, crafty man here from the bottom position. It'll be interesting to see what he transitions to off of this position. Looks like he's able to use the shin against the belly to kick Zach over to the far side. He, uh, he could come up here to get two, but he's going to elect to try to keep going for that arm. He wants to finish that arm bar. Zach Snyder looking to use this as an opportunity to sit back on a leg lock entanglement potentially or a knee bar attempt which we may see him finish here. This is a really, really strong position. Nate's got his other leg inside there, so I think it's actually going to be pretty difficult for him to finish. But uh, nonetheless, a great uh, submission attack here from Zack Snyder. Nate looking to come up on top, going to solidify the position, and now he will score two with just about a minute and a half left to go here in the match. Nate Fenton takes a 2-0 lead. You see Zack Snyder taking some deep breaths. It's been a long day of matches here for him. He's getting a little bit tired. Nate Fenton looks to be the fresher man headed into the last minute and a half of this match. He is also up 2-0 to zero on points. 
And now looking to base up into his headquarters position here. To slice that knee through, but Zach does a nice job of outbalancing him there for a second. Nate's able to get his base back. And now he's going for a, a, just a, a classic cross-collar choke. No uh, hooks or closed guard to speak of, but a great attack nonetheless. Now looking to go in on a, an outside, or sorry, just a regular Ashi position on that right leg of Nate Fenton. Looking to sit Nate down to that hip. He goes X guard, kicks him away. Nate's got a really, really good base in this position. I think we've, we've seen it throughout the day. He does a really good job of passing these, these X guards, single leg X, uh, just keeping his base, getting the foot off the hip, doing what he needs to do, and then finding an opportunity to step around the guard. Zack Snyder passing that right leg off into his armpit. Now looking to go outside Ashi, or now to the inside Senkaku potentially, but he's just got his feet crossed on the hips there. Uh, Nate's foot's posted on the mat. As long as Nate's foot is posted on the mat, he's safe from the heel hook here in this position. Is that it? Oh, okay. I just I didn't even know it was over. <laughs> okay. Well, that is the end of the match, ladies and gentlemen. And that is Nate Fenton with a 2-0 lead, or sorry, a 2-0 victory to take the bronze medal here in our advanced Yi Absolute. Nate Fenton, the co-owner of Breaking Point Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. If you're ever in the, uh, sorry, not Iowa City area, the Quad Cities area, be sure to check them out. Great instructor, great competitor, just an all-around good dude. And now we are going to go ahead and get started with the finals of our men's advanced Gi Absolute. Again, we have Austin Baker of Gracie Baja, North Phoenix, taking on Kieran Kichuk of Lloyd Irvin Martial Arts.